This is the more traditional way of seeing an input or an output channel. You'll see, you know, in this case, high and low pass filters, parametric compressor. You get sort of a broad detail of all the processing that may be engaged in happening. But notice you don't really see the values of things. Okay, so if we go to the next tab, preamp. You'll see a lot of gray space, but we see that this channel's source is the Mixrax IO port 1, channel 1. So it's the first Dante channel. I have activated a tube mic pre-emulation on this channel. Right now, if you tap the LIB button, which was down next to the setup button on the lower left-hand side of the screen, we will have a, you know, a library of different mic pre's through the months and years that are going to grow in here. Next tab over is filter. That's going to be a detailed view of your high and low pass filter. And if you want to change the high pass filter slope, you can pull, pull this slope down and change it. Uh, let's go ahead to Eli. Pull that down. Change it to a 24 dB, a steeper slope. Nope, you didn't do it. 18 dB. Anyway, you've got four different high pass slopes that you can uh, engage on here. <coughs> and you can use your finger if you want to drag these things on the screen you know, to sort of swipe on the screen if you want to, okay? And it tells you the frequency value. Same with the low pass. If we go to gate, the next tab over, you will see, you know, your side chain filtering if you're doing that. Uh, you'll see the depth of your gate. Why we maintain 0.7 milliseconds completely phase aligned out the back door is we're not taxing the system the more we use it. As I turn gates and compressors on, all I'm doing is applying a process that's already happening. If you come over here and hit in, you will see that that gate is now potentially affecting the audio. Mm -hmm.